Welcome to Crimson Guitars, welcome to the final video of the 90 hour build. That's a misnomer at this point, an inaptonym, if you would permit the verbosity. I digress within the first three seconds of the video. I am going to finish the build today. We are going to hear it play. That is it. Did I say today? I meant this video. Uh, today, I'm going to paint in the shielding paint. Rear guard, protect your back cavity. Um, and uh, let that cure overnight and then tomorrow I finish the build. But at this stage, oh, here we are. Oh, here we are. There was the truss rod cover. <sighs> On with the build. <laughs> you fool. <sighs> Who needs a truss rod cover anyway? And that's where the jack is going to go. I really should have drilled that pre-finish. So I've got a second coat of, uh, of shielding paint on there. Not necessary really, but uh, but done. I I have been. I've been avoiding installing or drilling the jack, and I really shouldn't have. But uh, basically, I need to figure out exactly what is happening. And, uh, well. So now the reason for the delay is we've got a relatively small hole through which the jack is gonna have access and uh, there is some movement of this. So I need the exoskeleton to be perfectly placed before I drill my hole. And uh, which means I need to have the tailpiece and the bridge, etc. well, the tailpiece at least in place because that holds the exoskeleton where it's gonna be. Time to put the uh, tailpiece on then. it wasn't going to be straightforward. That's in the wrong place. There we go. I've pulled that one out and put it back in at least 30 times now. And uh, I've yet to do the same with that. It's not working. They are the correct ones in the correct sort of place, but essentially the chrome needs to be there. And at the moment, no matter how many times I take it out and put it back on, the thread is making it end up about there. So, what can be done? What can be done is a grinder, or a sander, or a grinder. Finally. Crikey. All right. <laughs> well, that took a while. There we go. And that's how we're going to get the strings in. There's various little ways. They're going to work quite nicely. Anyway, so. Out there. Jack socket. I'm rather loving this. It's just a bit delicate. Let's just start with a pilot hole.
going up in half mil increments, just taking it slowly. Uh, the reason for all of this jiggery pokery is because my fantastic 12 mil uh, Famag center point drill bit has gone walkies and we can't find it. So uh, start with uh, a good drill bit at 10 mil. Um, I've opened it out using a, a step drill to the 12 mil I want to get, slowed in carefully. Now the main shaft is being opened up half a mil at a time. Another trick if you're particularly worried is to uh, go in reverse. And if you're taking a small enough cut, you can, you will still go through slowly. You see that? So I went all the way through with the drill in reverse, but uh, it cut much more cleanly and it didn't uh, bite at all. I should just leave it like this, shouldn't I? Who needs an exoskeleton? Thou shalt not forget the ground. I wonder how I've managed to fill that up. All right. I, I don't even really need to hold that on. It's just, it's just there. The strings are going to hold it in place if there's if ever is any vibration. However, I will, I will, I will have to do that. Um, okay, now pick up strap buttons. I must be forgetting something. Now, this, this guitar isn't going to be played as much by orders of magnitude, I suppose, as any of the other instruments that, uh, that I've made or that we make here. However, that doesn't mean we're gonna stint on quality. Do you know what, I'm still uncertain. I, I, I think I'm gonna go for no pickups around at this point and uh, you can always put one on afterwards. I do have some ideas for the pickup surrounds, but I'm, I'm gonna, I'm trying to keep this instrument, the bass instrument, <laughs> relatively simple. Well, yeah, where are we? I want that just a little bit higher. Instead of springs, I am going to glue in uh, a couple of uh, three millimeter blocks, and I'm just gonna screw the pickup straight down to the guitar. Uh, I don't think that's going to make any real difference. 
I shouldn't have taken that out. I need to mark where the holes are going. I should have taken it out. I'm going to put some blocks in first, as I was saying. Time for a coffee break. I shall return. Sorted. OK. We need to invent coffee that comes out the perfect temperature to drink straight off the bat. I suppose that's a latte, really. Anyway. No. Ah! You know, that's going to taunt me for a while. Little pieces of wood. I know what I'm doing. OK. Take two. Can you imagine trying to hold that little piece of wood without the masking tape and super glue trick? Painfully. Okay. Time to drill. Time to mark it out. No, I am so excited. I'm so excited by this that I keep on forgetting steps. This is really, we're, 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 we're there. We're pretty much at crunch point. Several things. I hoped that I've failed somewhat. I had hoped that the lacquer would be a little bit thicker. Yes, guitar builder saying that. Uh, and I thought I'd built in enough tolerances that uh, I, the this exoskeleton would be tight enough that it would be fine, but not too tight that it would disintegrate. And there's really just a little bit too much flex. As you, uh, yeah, there's gaps, and gaps are not ideal. Now the original plan was that there were going to be. Well, the original plan didn't have all of these bits and pieces around the edges. And I was going to basically pin this together with some sort of steel or, or copper or something like that. And uh, it would look like it would look like a made thing rather than a grown thing, uh, rather than something that attached itself to something else. And as the builders developed and evolved, 
uh, we've come to the point where there is a story now. It's a guitar, it's been eaten, or it is, it is being taken over by some sort of alien organism, and uh, there is beauty in that. The problem is, I can't now go around and tie it in an obviously mechanical fashion, because it isn't mechanical, it is organic. And uh, I've been thinking about that now for, for a while, and it occurred to me that, uh, well, in much the same way that nostrils and lungs and all that have cilia, and lovely little gangly bits. Maybe that would be the case with an alien organism. In fact, probably. There's a reason why SETI concentrates on carbon-based life forms when it's searching for things, and that's because carbon's pretty damn common, and we are prob probabilistically more likely that was a terrible sentence. Uh, and that is the same case with this. If, if we have cilia and dangly bits, yeah, I like that bit, uh, I think this will too. So what I am going to do is I'm going to work some copper into this build because I need to. But, well, how am I going to do that? Uh, okay, so... There's no easy way to say this. It's not broken, it's not broken. Um, this isn't the last video, and I'm really sorry. It was supposed to be, but it isn't. I am not going to rush this final stage. Um, we're leaving it as, this, as is for now. I've essentially just found another 20 or 30 hours worth of work to do on the guitar and uh, it is going to take it to the next level. I am really sorry. It is going to be worth it though. This is the penultimate video. I will be back with the last video in the series next week. The guitar will be finished. It will be finished. Or it will finish me. Thank you for your support. Please click like and subscribe. Please let me know in the comments below what you think of it so far. And uh, yeah, I would really appreciate the fact that you guys are watching this insanity with me. The next build is going to be... Oh, actually, the next build was a little bit crazy too. I'm going to do... The, the next thing I start from scratch is going to be a relatively straightforward guitar. I have to do something simple and just simple to, to clear my mind. It's like eating dark chocolate after like wine tasting or... No, no, it's chocolate tasting, isn't it? You have one really insane chocolate, then you have dark chocolate to clean your palate. Um, I'm going to do a simple build at some point to, uh, to clean my palate from this insanity. Um, I'm talking too much. I, I, I love you. I really appreciate your support. I will see you soon. Goodbye. I nearly punched the 90 hour. I need to stop punching my bench one day, and it will really hurt myself or the guitar. <sighs> Coffee.